My mom is definitely my favorite travel buddy. I love traveling with my family, and I try to do that every year. This year, unfortunately, my dad and my sister couldn't join us. <laughs> Canadian winters are not a joke, so every time I try to go somewhere warm to escape the freezing weather. I have never been to the Caribbean, so this year I decided to go to Cuba with my mom. So here we are, having woken up at 3 a.m. to catch a flight to Varadero. After a long nap, they gave us the cutest little pretzels. I want to travel as much as possible while I still have the freedom of having a lot of breaks as a student. The Varadero airport was so small, like this was the entire customs and baggage claim area. Oh no! When I found my bag, I saw this broken handle on it, and I freaked out. <laughs> But then I realized it didn't come from my bag. Thank God. We found the bus to take us to the resort, and on the bus, the tour guide lady was introducing Cuba to us. Our currency, it's the local pesos. But when we go shopping, let's say to certain stores like the groceries, they don't take pesos there. So how do we pay that? We pay with a debit card. Unfortunately, Cubans need foreign currency to load onto their bank cards to buy food. So locals love to exchange pesos for foreign currency with visitors to Cuba. You need to know something about the pesos. The thing is that when you're going back home, it's not possible to change those pesos back into dollars. Okay? You need to know this because maybe you want to change a lot, but then the day you're going Home, and you realize you have a lot, and you would like to have your dollars back, but they don't do that at the bank. It's not possible. No, we'll that's why. That's yeah. Well, that's of course. That's something that I always say. You keep them in the next trip to Cuba. You come back with them. So we exchanged just a small amount of pesos with the tour guide lady before checking in at the resort. Yeah, she will. She will. Thank you so much. The tour guide lady said that her daughter really loves markers, but she couldn't find them in Cuba, so we gave her a pack that we brought. Wow! I did not expect there to be so many amenities. I thought there'd be no hair dryer. Unfortunately, I don't think we got a nice beach view, but the room is so nice. Like a nice purple. It's such a nice day today, and it's not too hot today, which is very appreciated. Ah, oh, so tired! After settling in, we immediately went to check out the buffet because I was so hungry. Oh, we found a cat! The food was pretty good, but I ate a piece of bread that literally tasted like a brick. I could not bite into it. <laughs> After lunch, we went to check out a salsa class by the pool, which was really fun. Our next stop was obviously the beach, so we went to check it out, and we were just in time for the sunset.
is that a banana? No. Wait, it's just they're just leaves that look like bananas. What a scam. After resting for a bit, we came out for dinner and the night view was absolutely amazing. We also saw these musicians playing at a bar which was really cute. <laughs> Then we went to eat at a Cuban restaurant which you can reserve in the hotel. We started off with some sangrias and some interesting looking appetizers. I think this is pickled sweet potato. They have pickles in it. Afterwards, out of curiosity, we went to check out the buffet to see what food they had, and we kind of regretted going to the restaurant. Vanilla. Not too much. Then we finished off the night by going to the Latin night performance. Mom, what are you wearing? Don jacket in Cuba. <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah, I'm shaking. <laughs> We were exhausted from the day before, so we had a really late start to the morning and breakfast ends at 10, so we basically got ready super fast to run downstairs and eat. Okay, breakfast looked absolutely delicious. You could order your own omelets and there were even these mysterious red pancakes. There were fresh donuts and pastries and the bread was a little bit dry, but I love bread, so I didn't really mind. <coughs> we sat outside to enjoy the nature, but it was actually so windy and here's me pretending to be fine while freezing my butt off. Like the people working at the hotel were all wearing sweaters and coats. Day two in Cuba. It's really cold in the shade because it's windy, but in the sun, it's super warm. It's like 23, 22 degrees. Here's my mom dancing along to the poolside dance classes. She's vibing. She's so funny. Then we went to hang out at the hammocks that were beside the pool and they were under these beautiful palm trees. It was such a vibe. We decided to stay within the hotel that day because I actually had an exam that night and it was online but it was such a struggle to figure out how to take it in Cuba because my school's website wasn't actually accessible there. The Wi-Fi in Cuba was also weak and pretty unstable, except for a few places in the hotel. So I basically spent the day running around the resort trying to figure out where's the best Wi-Fi spot to take my test. In the afternoon, I also spent some time reviewing and preparing for my test and trying not to get stressed out about the Wi-Fi situation. Those trees are so cute. Then obviously because I had my priorities straight, 
while I was procrastinating, I painted my nails outside under the warm sun on the hammocks. Then I ate some pizza and fish and salad for lunch. I was surprised because I had heard that food in Cuba is not that great. So my mom and I had low expectations, but honestly, we were pretty impressed. But my lunch took an unexpected turn because I put my food outside and then went inside to find my mom. But after I came back out, I found the birds eating my food on my plate. There were so many birds. Don't leave your food unattended in Cuba, guys. So I had to rush and get another plate of food before it closed, but it still turned out to be pretty good. And then I saw the same black bird eating other people's food on their tables. Wow, this day is so beautiful. So windy. <laughs> Ma, you're doing what? Ma. Thankfully, my exam was still a success and we made it to dinner. We celebrated finishing my last final exam at Noche Blanca, the white night event that night at the resort. And it was honestly my mom and I's favorite event from the whole entire week. 